Rivers to throw it. Stepping up. Sack! Big Jeff! Jeffrey Simmons! His first career sack! Big man, how are you? I'm great. I'm feeling good. Body feeling good. You know, I'm just glad to be back with the team. You know, we've been working so hard the last couple of days and you know, of course it's different for us, but at the same time, you know, we all have a job and that job is to, you know, adapt to the change and, you know, just keep working. How is Jeffrey Simmons different entering year number two than he was entering year number one outside of the obvious, which is the big bulky knee brace? Well, first of all, you know, it's a lot of new expectation, not just for me, but for this team, you know. If we pick it back off last year, you know, we, we didn't get to exactly where we wanted to get at. And, um, you know, this year you right here, you know, we forgetting last year, you know, it's all about this year here, you know. Me personally, you know, I'm all, way, I'm all about, you know, what can I do for this team to help this team win? You know, just that mindset, okay, it's time to really just go take over. I'm always interested to ask this question of a guy entering year two. As you finished up that rookie year playing in the AFC championship game, what did you know in January that you would not have had any way to know last August having finished a full season? I mean, it just, uh, I think, especially, you know, playing in this league, it just so many expectations, you know, coming from, you know, not just the coaches, but your teammates, you know. Your teammates, they pushing on you to go make that play. They pushing on you to get in the quarterback phase. Just uh, around you, it's just so much that you have to know, especially playing defensive line, you know. And, you know, me playing, especially being a rookie, you know, it just, you know, you don't pay attention to them things at first in the beginning of the season because you're like, okay, I'm, I might not be in this situation, especially me, because I wasn't playing. I was like, I, I might not be in this situation. But later in the season, when you actually, you know, y you end up being that guy that they're depending on because of someone else might have went down, but now it's your chance to, you know, step in. So it's the same thing, like I said earlier, you have to always be alert because you never know when is your chance to step in. So. Let me follow that in a way, because I think about the playoff game in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Early in the game, you're putting the rush on Lamar Jackson. You get through, get your hands up, force him to throw over you. He makes a bad throw. Kevin Byard intercepts. That's the type of play you're talking about. Even though it's not a big stat Correct. for Jeffrey Simmons, you had a major impact on that play and thus on that game. Correct. I mean, like I said, that's, that's where, you know, this team focuses on, you know, how can I help this team win? Just by me, you know, getting in the pocket, you know, very, Coach Ray always talk about affecting the quarterback. That's a way to affect the quarterback, to get in the middle of the pocket, you know, especially to get my hands up so he could overthrow his guy. Our job is to help out the DBs. Our DBs' job is, you know, help out us. You know, if we get into the quarterback and he rushing his throw, you know, of course, I know we have a great secondary and they're going to intercept the ball. They're just like, if we got great coverage on the back end, we're going to get to the quarterback. So it just, everybody playing a part. And you, like I said, that game right there just shows that if we doing what we talked about during the week, completing our goal, and our goal was to affect the quarterback. And that's what we did. So, you know, um, it was a great intercession on the back end. So, Because you were coming off a of surgery, you had a chance to be at St. Thomas Sports Park during the off season, even during the pandemic situation when this place was just vacant. What was that like? It was different, yeah, especially, you know, not being able to be around the guys, you know. You know, this game of football is all about relationships. You know, you have to have a relationship, not just with the players, but the coaches. And, you know, you really don't see nobody but the training staff or the weight room, lifting staff, you know, coach, frame them. So it just was so different for me because, like I said, I, just, I wanted to get my knee right, but at the same time, you know, where's the other teammates, you know, that I could get this bun with that, you know, like, like I said last year, you know, with the rookies coming in, you know, I, even though I was doing rehab, I, the player was still around. And I was able to get a uh, relationship with some of the players and with most of the players. So it just, just off season, it was different. But like I said, it just, I was okay with it. You know, my thing was, you know, I'm coming here to get my knee better. I'm coming here to get better every day. So I was like my head down, just trying to work. All right, so let's end it with this. I'm standing here five months from now and I'm describing Jeffrey Simmons 2020 season. How do you hope I'm describing it? What do you hope I'm saying? First off, um, you know, just I helped my team win the Super Bowl. You know, um, secondly, you know, I just want everyone to see that 
the reason why I came to the Titans and the reason why I came here and I feel like John and them um, got me here, Covray and them got me here is because they, they want me here to disrupt the line of scrimmage. And my goal is to do whatever I can to help this team win the Super Bowl, but same time, you know, for me personally, I want to show everybody in this league that I deserve and belong in this league by dominating every snap of the um, game. So.